When I was last living in Moscow, I lived slightly to the east of the Kremlin. I could see the Kremlin very easily. Uh, I lived next to a uh, monastery and uh, I lived actually in the uh, on the site of the apartment block that was um, inhabited by the poet um, Is, uh, Is, Isyenin, the fellow who married Isadora Duncan. Now, if I had been in Moscow the other night, I would have seen the two drones flying over my bedroom to attack uh, the Kremlin and to attack the dome of the Senate Palace. Now, under the dome, apparently, is Putin's apartment. I, I just don't believe this. I, we, ha we happen to know uh, there are so many underground bunkers uh, a few years ago, somebody did a tour of the underground bunkers and uploaded that onto YouTube. And now the FSB is trying very hard to shut all those videos down and to make sure nobody knows about the underground bunkers, because no doubt they're soon going to be very useful. Uh, if Putin is anywhere, he's likely to be in an underground bunker or near Rublyovka, this expensive village. Instead... If you think about it, a, a drone approaching from the east makes absolutely no sense. Two drones uh, apparently hit the uh, Senate Palace. One at 2.27 a.m., one at 2.43 a.m. And there's footage of some people clambering around on the roof before, I think, the second strike None of this makes any sense. These drones would have gone over Red Square, past St Basil's Cathedral, um, over my bedroom, and uh, at some point, surely, they would have been intercepted. If not uh, over Moscow, then they would have been intercepted uh, on the way, on, on the 500-kilometre route from Ukraine. These drones did not come from Ukraine. Whatever speculation may be made about uh, them by Mr Medvedev, Whatever option this gives Mr. Medvedev to call for, Put uh, for uh, Zelensky's assassination, these drones did not come from Ukraine. Now, that leaves only two possibilities. Number one is that this is a false flag operation to justify an attack on Ukraine. Perfectly understandable. Or it's a false flag operation to justify Putin's appearance or non-appearance on the 9th of May for the parades, or indeed to cancel the parades. But there is also another possibility. That these are drones put out by Russian partisans who think that Putin is not being aggressive enough or that Putin should stop the war altogether. There are plenty of people who have been silenced by recent laws and who may well be turning to... Uh, drone warfare to make their point. After all, a lot of them have quite a lot of money. They are silenced, they're muted, but they're not um, incapable of making a point. And they must know. So what, so what we should look for is not, um, is not evidence of Putin's movements. We should look to see who is hastily leaving the country before they are defenestrated.